welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can add a calendar to your app. So it's like the one we see here. We can swipe between months and of course we can select a date. And we, in this case, are just presenting an alert with the date that we have selected. So we're going to be going over not only how to bring this calendar into our app, but two different ways we can implement it. Uh, so with that said, make sure you smash that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and welcome, uh, and get Xcode ready, let's get into the video. So as per usual, we're going to get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application, make sure you've got iOS selected up here. Let's give this a name of, let's go with my calendar. And let's save it on our desktop. And once Xcode decides to load, we'll get into it. So first things first, we want to bring in the framework that allows us to show a calendar. And that framework is called FS Calendar. We're going to be bringing it in with CocoaPods. So to do that, we're going to open up our terminal. And we're going to CD into the project, which is on our desktop. And we called it My Calendar. And if you're not familiar with CocoaPods, feel free to just follow along or check out my video on how to use CocoaPods. Uh, basically, you need to have CocoaPods installed before you can use it, of course. But we're going to do a pod init. And this will create a pod file in our project. Now we can do open pod file. And we want to come into here and we want to add the FS calendar pod like so and we can close text edit type a pod install and i might get a bunch of printout like that you might not i have a couple incorrect settings on my machine that i need, I need to fix but you should get some green stuff down here which means it was successful so we can actually click on xcode hit command w to close that window and now if we do an ls you'll see we have a xc workspace file so we want to open that one up. So we're going to do open mycalendar.xc workspace. And let's see, let's spell open correctly. xc workspace. And we get this opened. So let me expand this Xcode window and we'll get right into implementing this calendar. Let's expand this side. And let's also expand this folder which is our project. And let's go to our view controller. Let's also select the simulator of choice we're gonna run on and just a command R to build and run to make sure everything is still compiling before we add some code. So we should see an empty app pop up on here, hopefully like so. And cool, so we got our app. So adding the calendar is actually fairly easy. There's two ways you can do it and we're gonna go over both ways. So the first one is we can add it via storyboard. And to do that, we need to go to our storyboard, of course, and we can bring in a UI view, drop it on in like so. Let's set some constraints to it. So we're gonna hit this, hit zero from the top, left and right, and the height will do 300. And up here, once the view is selected uh, over here, we want to come to this tab and just change the, whoops, this tab. And we want to change the class type to be FS calendar. And if you just hit command R, you should now be able to see your calendar. Now you won't see it here. Well, actually look at that. You do see it here. So I was going to say, you might not see it here because sometimes the storyboard won't render the calendar but it looks like uh, the framework provider for FS Calendar has fixed that. So you actually see the calendar here and you see it here too. And it's a full fledged calendar where you can select dates and swipe between months. And it's a really nice component. And if you actually just Google FS Calendar, you'll see there's a bunch of ways to customize it uh, in terms of coloring, appearance. Uh, you can have this scroll up and down if you only wanna show a week, uh, so on and so forth. So that's the first way to add a calendar. And before we get into the second way of how to add it, let's set up an outlet to this calendar. 
So we can also leverage the delegate and basically get a function call whenever the person, aka the user, selects a date. Because right now this calendar is cool, but it's a little bit useless, right? So we're going to go to our view controller and we'll import FS calendar. Let's create an outlet. Whoops, we want at IB outlet var calendar. And this will be an FS calendar. Let's also set the calendars delegate to self. And let's make sure we conform to the FS calendar. Whoops, try that one more time. FS calendar delegate. And this delegate has several functions, but the one we're going to focus on is, I believe, calendar did select date. And we'll just print out selected, if I can spell it for now. Let's go back to our storyboard and connect that IB outlet. So right click this and drag from calendar to calendar. Hit command R to build and run. And once we tap one of these uh, dates, we'll see down here we get selected. So let's actually do something a little better than just printing out selected because we don't really care about a static string. We want to get the actual date. You can see that in this function we uh, see the date coming in as a parameter. So we can actually convert this date to a string with a date formatter. So let's create a formatter and it's a date formatter. And we're going to set formatter dot style. Let's do date style. And let's see. I want the string version. Let's do formatter style. Date style. No, I was correct. Date format. That's what we want. Um, so what we want is we want the month, day, year. And we want the hour, minutes, and the AM or PM. And then we can say string is formatter and string for date, string, string from date actually. And we'll just pass in the date and let's print out our string. So hit command B. Hopefully my format here is correct. And we can actually put this in as well, which I believe gives us the day of the week. So let's hit command R and let's see what we get printed out. So let's select this date and we see we get Tuesday, which was April 7th, 2020. And it looks like we're not getting the time, which makes sense because we're only selecting a date here. Uh, but it looks like it's defaulting us to AM. So in the formatter, I specified to also print out the hour and minute, but of course we're selecting dates. So that's irrelevant for this example. So let's take a look at the other way we can bring in a calendar and then we'll wrap up this video. So if you're not a fan of using the storyboard for whatever reason, and you're doing everything through code, not to worry, you can come into your storyboard and delete your calendar and you can create this calendar completely programmatically. So what we can say here is calendar equals a calendar. And let's override view did layout subviews. And we can simply set a frame for this calendar. And the frame is going to be a CG rect with an X, Y width and height. So the X is zero, the Y is zero. The width is view.frame.size.width. And same thing for the height. And let's just add this onto our view as a sub view. And we should see the calendar, I believe, in the exact same place if my calculations for this frame are correct. So if we start this up, we still have our calendar. The delegate still works. And yeah, so let me actually change the frame so you guys can see that it is in fact being shown from here. Whoops, let's make the Y 100, not the X. So this won't be flush to the top of the screen. Try that one more time. And we can see we have a buffer up here. So we are in fact seeing the calendar come in through the code and not the storyboard. 
So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you create a calendar using FS Calendar in two different ways. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you have any issues, please feel free to comment, share the video, subscribe if you're new for daily Swift videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.